So today I want to talk about something that can happen when the bank has promised to issue you money so that you can go and buy a home. The bank at the beginning gives you a piece of paper that says we will give you your money to buy your home. After the two to three months when all the paperwork gets done, the money will be released. But for now, we're going to give you a promise that we will pay you. However, there's a bit of fine print there. And that fine print says that in any time during the paperwork process of buying the home and everything, if anything changes with your financial situation during that time, they can withdraw their promise to pay you the money. So at the end of all of it, they can say, well, actually you don't have money from us. So why would they do that? Well, first of all, when a bank issues you the money or promises to issue you the money, they first do a check on you to see what your financial situation is. So they check, do you have car payments? Do you have another payment on another home maybe? Do you owe money to people, etc.? They look at what is your financial situation and based on that, they decide, it looks like you'll be able to pay us back, so we will give you the money in two to three months once the paperwork is done. However, if during that two to three month period, you now get excited because the bank has said they're gonna give you a million rand for your new home, and you go and spend more money, you go and buy another car, you go and buy some fancy jewelry, and then what can happen is the bank can go see that and realize, whoa, your financial situation is different now. You have another car and you have jewelry that you're paying off, we're actually retracting, taking away our offer to pay you that money so you can buy the home. And then what happens two to three months later, you're without money from the bank, you can't buy a home, the whole sale falls through. I've seen that happen. So this is kind of like a heads up. Don't go and spend money and change your financial situation after the bank has promised to give you funds to buy a home. Keep things the same, don't overspend, Keep your financial situation as it is so that things can go smoothly so that you can get your home. Hope that makes sense and hope that helps. Thank you. If you enjoyed that video, go ahead and subscribe below because we're going to be putting out a lot of interesting content. Give it a like and feel free to share. Thank you.